I do, however, despite my skepticism of the U.S. support for such movements, believe that, um, that, that there is a role for global civil society. Uh, for international solidarity and made easier through uh, internet and new communication technologies where human rights organizations, labor unions, environmental groups, uh, and others can support uh, struggles against imperialism, uh, struggles uh, against uh, uh, dictatorships around the world, and to do so regardless of the given regime's ideological orientation or relations uh, with the United States. I mean, yes, Mugabe is an anti-imperialist, as is the Burmese junta and the Iranian mullahs, uh, but which has led some misguided people on the left to to try to to defend them. And though we should we should you know certainly point out the hypocrisy uh, of U.S. policy and the double standards and criticism of these regimes, and we should certainly um, uh, oppose any kind of, of U.S. Uh, you know, in, in intervention. We should never rationalize uh, for these dictatorships because uh, progressives have nothing to fear from democracy. Indeed, genuinely democratic countries tend to be by their nature anti-imperialist, as we've seen in Latin America when freedom has come there, how people have voted and what they are saying uh, through, through, the, through the election of progressive leaders uh, throughout the continent. So, 